Welcome to the warm up. This edition presented by Community Sports and Therapy. We are in St. Henry to chat with the Redskins head coach, Brad Luthman. Brad, you're in your second season here. How are things going so far in camp? Hey, we're back in football season, man. I it is good to be exciting. back. I tell you what, you spend all that off season fretting over this, fretting over that, all the little stuff. You get out here and everything feels a little bit right. So it's good to be back here. Absolutely. Looking back on 2013, you guys finished with a four and six record, but a strong finish and finishing four and two in your last six games. And the only two losses in there were to eventual state champions. So you have something to build on. Yeah, I tell you, um, I'll give a lot of credit to last year's seniors. We started rough, and they could have folded camp, and we set a little goal towards the end of the season. We said, you know, we know the way this is unfolding. We're not getting a week 11. Uh, let's play these last three with all we got. And to their credit, they rose up, and they've really given us some momentum to carry into the off season. Replacing that senior class sounds like it could be a challenge. Who are some of the guys you're looking to to step up and fill those roles? Well, we're going to have a very veteran offensive line this year, which we're really excited about. We got all five of the same guys that played almost every game last year back. So we're looking to lean on them as a core. Um, we got our quarterback, Mitch Stallman, back, who will be a junior this year after playing all last year as a sophomore. And we got our tailback, Jesse Niekamp, back this year, who played last year as a sophomore. Um, we're hoping that those guys form a nucleus of a good, strong ground game. And then we're trying to get better and better on defense each day. How important is it to get that experience as a sophomore at the varsity level and then watch these guys come into camp as juniors? They've got to be ahead of the curve. Well, I tell you, um, I get impressed by some of these guys every day, and even the seniors that are going to get their first varsity action this year. You know, sometimes that's the way it is in the programs around here. Uh, seniors play JV their junior year and just waiting their turn, and they're picking up. Um, having a having a second year quarterback's great for the peace of mind of the head coach. You know, so I'm looking forward to coaching him. Yeah, what have you seen out of Mitch so far? Anything that has really surprised you here in August? I tell you what, I'm, I'm always impressed with his brains. Like, we put a little bit on him at the line of scrimmage. Hey, you recognize this front check speed option. Hey, uh, we're going to send you to the line with just this inside zone. Check the best side or, you know, check your pass protection to the side you're feeling blitz. And everything we keep throwing at him, you know, he's processing it well. And then he's asking intelligent questions in our meetings, which is always a real sign of showing that, hey, we're getting somewhere, the questions he asked are awesome. Did this group of guys get started early in the summer, like way before camp, lifting and maybe seven on sevens? Um, they've, been, they've been putting in the time lifting uh, 6 a.m. Pretty much the day school was out, we come in at 6 a.m. and we get our lifts and our runs and our agilities in uh, all the way through July. Uh, we get our lift-a-thon then into camp. And then we had two seven on sevens. We went down to Sydney and played Sydney, Milton Union, and Salina. And then we went up to Delphi St. John's and got a scrimmage the Blue Jays since we won't get to play them this year with the MAC rotation. Right, so playing in the MAC, you play only eight MAC teams, so you miss out on two. Coldwater and Marion Local are both on your schedule, and they're back-to-back. -back. So that's going to be a really challenging part of the schedule in the middle. What are you uh, hoping to get up to, leading up to that those games, what are you hoping to get out of your team so that you know that's going to be a challenge in week four and five? I tell you what, like every coach says, and I know it's always a cliche, but I mean, really believe it, that first game's the most important. Um, if we want to get to a week 11, it's got to start with week one and week two and week three. I mean, Coldwater and Marion, those games hold a special place in our heart because, I mean, that's the team we want to be. We want you guys going around to preseason shows saying, man, you got to play St. Henry this year. But until we show that we can take those teams, we haven't earned that right. Well, you'll be happy to hear Fort Recovery was bringing up your name quite a bit. They're looking forward to that matchup. But let's talk about the opener. You're going to Covington. You played them last year. They're much improved. That should be a good challenge and, and really set the tone for the season. I tell you what, they were a heck of a team last year. Coach Miller and that great senior class they had last year, I mean, they came here and they put it to us, um, really put us back on our heels. And, it, heck, it might have been that game on for the first four games while we really started slow because they just I think they caught us by surprise. We didn't have, I don't know, throughout the program, we just weren't right. And they run their option attack like nobody else I've ever seen with that option. So uh, all the credit to them, and we got to be ready to go this year. And you come home for the home opener against Eaton and then start the MAC schedule with Parkway. What does it mean to you to, to play in the MAC? And how do you instill in your guys what it takes to compete at that level week to week? I tell you what, um, to be in the MAC, I've been in the MAC all my life. Grew up in Versailles, coached in Marion, coaching here now. Um, there's just, it's special communities, special kids. The way we get to push them in practice, the way we get to make them learn the systems that we learn. Uh, 
is truly remarkable. They do it with a great attitude, and then they go home to great families who support them, and it means everything. Then on Friday night when you're playing Marion and your uncle's from the other side, you know you got a winner, you're going to hear that stuff on <laughs> Thanksgiving, you know? So yeah. you got to try to win that thing. There is definitely a sense of pride that comes with playing in this conference. Is that correct? Oh, there's absolutely. Bragging rights every time. You don't know how often uh, our... Uh, you know, this whole town, you know, there's a few games they want. One's down 119, one's up 118. And there's two games right there they want. Got a couple of scrimmages coming up before the season starts. What are you hoping to get out of those and see your guys against some competition besides themselves? I tell you what, two great scrimmages. Uh, one, Our first one will be at Lehman by a well-coached uh, Lehman Cavalier team uh, led by Dick Rule. Uh, they always fire off hard. They play a mean, aggressive defense. So it always gives us the kind of look we want. And then the second scrimmage, we get to go up to Ottawa Glandorf with Coach Schreiner, and he does the same thing. You know, they really build their program like we want to build ours with a ground game and defense. So it gives us the look we need to get. Has there been a, a player or maybe a specific group of players that has surprised you here in camp with, with how far that long they are? Um, I think that I'm very high on our rate as a whole group. I mean, our seniors have kept a good attitude around the whole program. And then the way we've picked up on some of the new stuff we're trying to do offensively and some of the stuff we're trying to fix up and shore up defensively. Um, I've really been impressed, but we all know that we've only been in pajamas so far. The real stuff happens tomorrow. Real stuff, they start hitting tomorrow here at St. Henry. But thank you so much, Coach Brad Luthman, for sitting down with us. Time for a break on the warm up presented by Community Sports and Therapy. When we return, Mark Kuntz joins us and he'll talk with some of the St. Henry players. Welcome back to the warm-up presented by Community Sports and Therapy. I'm Mark Kuntz, joined by a pair of Redskins seniors, Caleb Bender in the middle and Evan Pranger down on the end. And guys, last year, started off the season 1-6, and six, finished strong, though, 3-0. and oh. Did that momentum carry over into the winter, into the off-season workouts? Yeah, I think it definitely did. You know, once we got into the winter and the spring, we uh, worked really hard in the weight room just to be the best we could be uh, coming up this fall. Evan, how did the summer go for you guys? Um, it went pretty good. For the most part, everybody was there working hard. Second year for Coach Luthman. Are you starting to get more comfortable with him and, and his style? Obviously, he knows the MAC very well, played at Versailles, has coached around the MAC quite a bit. Are you starting to feel like he's buying into and he's starting to make this St. Henry program his own? Evan, we'll start with you. Yeah, um, he's been taking real good control, having fun with all of his players, and getting us ready to go. Caleb, how have you seen Coach Luthman change the, as this from year one to year two? He's definitely pushing us harder this year to be the best we could be, you know. He's running us hard, but, you know, he uh, likes to cut the touch every now and then and play a couple games. So, yeah, it's a good, good time. Open up on the road against Covington. The beat Covington clock is ticking in the locker room. That is the yep. focus. What do you guys need to improve on between now and that game, uh, an improved Covington team? Definitely we're going to have to improve our run defense because they ran all over us last year, so we're going to have to toughen up up front. We beat that run. Evan, that loss last year to Covington, did that weigh heavily on you guys? Um, yeah, I don't think it was a good start for our season and kind of drug us down at the beginning. Home for Eaton, and then you get right into the MAC Parkway, and then the big trip just up the street to Coldwater. We know Covington's on the clock, but what games are you looking forward to outside of that one right now? Definitely looking forward to that Coldwater and uh, Marion game back-to-back -back weeks. Certainly both defending state champs. St. Henry's got a rich playoff legacy, 15 appearances. Last time those 2002, six state titles. But it was 2006, eight years ago. So you guys would have been in elementary school yeah. the last time St. Henry won the state title. Is there a desire on the senior class to, to bring St. Henry back to where it was? Yeah, definitely. It's a big thing for us seniors to bring us back to where we were. Caleb, what do you think the strength of this year's team's gonna be? I think we're definitely gonna be strong in the run game. So that's what that's what we're looking forward to to running the ball up. So as a pair of receivers, you, you guys just gonna be on the end blocking then? Well <laughs> blocking's a important part of receiver too, so yeah. You know, get a key block, Jesse can uh cut outside, hopefully score a lot of touchdowns. All righty, thanks a lot. Thank you. Caleb Thank you. Bender and Evan Pranger. We're gonna take a break when we come back in the community sports therapy warm up. We'll talk more Redskin football here on WOSN.
Welcome back to the Community Sports and Therapy Warm-Up. We are joined now by A.J. Niekamp and Adam Guggenbiller, two more seniors on the St. Henry team. And Adam, you're on the line, both offensively and defensively. How's the line shaping up so far for the Redskins? Uh, we're working hard, and we're uh, even though it's not contact yet, we're still hitting the pads pretty hard. And Coach Luthman's really making us work for our spots this year. A.J., receiver and a cornerback. Tell us about the skill position kids for St. Henry this year. Well, at the skill position, we got a lot of seniors and a lot of lettermen coming back, and we're hoping that'll benefit us in the season to come. It's been a couple years since you guys made the playoffs. It would have been your sophomore years. Been a young team. Now it's a little bit of an experienced team going into this season then, AJ? Yes, it is. We got a lot of lettermen coming back this year. And having that letterman experience, what is that? Are you guys can you, can you feel the leadership kind of bringing up some of these other younger kids now too? Yeah, we got a lot of seniors leading the way. Adam, what's some of the ways the senior class has been trying to lead the way? Uh, we show uh, we show example by hitting right, going hard, helping the younger guys with their assignments, making sure that if they've messed up once, they don't keep on making the same mistakes. We know how competitive the MAC is. We know how good that league is, top from bottoms, particularly the top half. A lot of close-knit families that have spread out throughout Mercer County now. What's it like playing week in and week out against maybe some distant cousins, maybe some in-laws or that type of stuff? Does that put an extra little emphasis on, on the league games, Adam? Yeah, it makes competing more fun. You know, you got to in, in family rivalries. It's always good to beat them. But it's, it's still family, so it's nice. AJ, having that type of rivalry with a lot of the different schools in the MAC, does that push you guys to be better? Oh, yeah, that fuels us a whole bunch, and that drives us to win. Week one against Covington, what do you need to work on the most between now and then, AJ? Um, I would say offensively and defensively, just learning our plays and running everything right. Adam, what do you think the strength of this year's team is going to be? I'd like to say the line and how hard we hit is really going to benefit us in the run game and passing game, too. Adam, it, it seems like this is a, a, a loose group. You guys are having fun during practice, but I know there's business, but you guys are finding time to have fun. Is that the key to getting through the, the two-a-day sessions, is finding those moments to have fun? Yeah, it certainly makes things easier, but if, we, if we're going slow, not doing things right, coaches will get on us and we'll pick it up. AJ, what are the expectations for this year's team? What are the goals for this year's team? Well, we're really hoping to make playoffs, and making a run in playoffs would be really great. As a senior, Adam, how would you like to see your St. Henry career come to an end? I'd, I'd like to see it with a ring on my finger. That'd be nice. That's what they play for in the MAC, rings on the fingers. We're going to take uh, – that's going to do it for us, actually, tonight on the warm-up presented by Community Sports and Therapy. I'd like to thank all of our guests tonight. For Matt Fickle, I'm Mark Goods. We'll see you next time on WMSN. Oh,